everyone welcome to today's perfume video i hope you're doing well so today i am super excited to be telling you about some amazing perfumes i have in my collection that i would repurchase immediately if i ran out of them so of course i absolutely adore all of these perfumes that i'm about to talk about today um as some of you may know it takes quite a lot for me to actually repurchase a fragrance if i feel mm, if, if I like a perfume, it doesn't necessarily mean I will repurchase it. Even if I love a perfume, it doesn't mean that I will repurchase it. So it takes something really quite special for a perfume to um, fall under that category, I suppose. And all of the perfumes we are going to be talking about today certainly do fall under that category. If you are new to my channel, then a very warm welcome. I create weekly perfume videos, so if that's something which interests you, then I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you would like to be notified every time I post, you can activate the little bell icon as well. And of course, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below. So first of all, before we start today, I have to give a huge thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring the video. Uh, Lily Silk is a fantastic company specialising in all sorts of luxurious silk products, you know, ranging from blouses to pyjamas, pillowcases, um, hair ties, lots of different things basically. And I have previously worked with Lily Silk before. I was really impressed with their products before, so of course I was thrilled when they reached out to me again and asked if I would like to collaborate on another video. I was over the moon. So this time they have sent me this stunning uh, blouse that I'm wearing today. This is almost like a kind of pinky, sand pink, oystery coloured blouse and it is absolutely breathtaking you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'll link the previous video that I collaborated um, with them in the description box down below so you can see the other blouse I picked last time. The one I picked last time was a very rich royal blue colour and this one is completely different. Um, I absolutely love it. They're just so classy and elegant and beautiful. Along with this blouse, Lily Silk were kind enough to send me some hair scrunchies as well. Um, I was thrilled to receive these because, of course, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I only would use a silk product on my hair, whether that's a pillowcase or a hair tie or, you know, no matter what it is, it has to be silk because um, it's basically the best thing for your hair and it stops breakage and it uh, helps to retain the moisture levels in your hair, it doesn't dry it out etc. So I only really use silk on my hair to be honest you guys. Um, so of course I love these scrunchies here. This is the pack of four. I chose the beautiful navy blue colour here and you can get a really large one as more of a statement sort of um, fashion accessory and then the other four were kind of in decreasing sizes like so. I'm going to be leaving links to their website in the description box so definitely um, pop onto their website and check out their range of products because they have many different colour options for the blouses and the scrunchies and they're just so soft on your hair you know they're not they're not pulling on your hair or anything like that they're not going to cause breakage like regular hair ties would these are much more gentle on your hair so these are the silk pillowcases that they sent me last time and i just wanted to quickly show you these just now to show you just how well they kind of hold up as long as you follow the instructions for washing you know they're going to hold up just fine and they're still absolutely fantastic four months later and i've used them a lot i've used these non-stop and they've been in the wash multiple times they're just the best thing for your hair and for your skin as well actually they really help to retain the moisture levels in your skin so if you fancied giving something a try from their website, whether it's a pillowcase, a couple of scrunchies, or maybe a beautiful luxurious blouse, don't forget to use my discount code here for a wee bit of money off your whole order. I'm actually going to use one of my scrunchies just now and tie up my hair because it's very warm in here today. So first up today I have the absolutely stunning 
Mongolan Intense from the House of Guerlain. Now this fragrance is really something special. I absolutely adore this one. So this is a richer, deeper, more intense version of Mongolan. It is much heavier on those base notes and the vanilla is really amped up in here. You have your woody notes, you have white musk in here as well. It's very sensual, it's very alluring. This fragrance is absolutely stunning, you guys. The dry down on this is exceptional. Upon the first application, it can come off as almost slightly harsh in nature just because of how strong it is. Um, I believe there might be a kind of citrusy um, kick initially. I believe there might be some bitter orange or mandarin orange. I'll find out and I'll put it on the screen for you. But there's some sort of um, punchy notes in the beginning, but the magic happens in the dry down. So this fragrance, the dry down is absolutely heavenly and it projects. So this is a very strong fragrance. Very good lasting power, I would say. It's strong, but it's still soft in nature. So it's, it's not strong in an obnoxious kind of way. It's strong in a very beautiful, soft, confident. It's just absolutely stunning, you guys. If you enjoy your woody notes, if you don't mind a bit of patchouli, and if you love vanilla, then I would definitely give this one a try. The other thing I'll say about this one is it smells very natural to me. So it's a very natural level of sweetness in here. This is not your overly sweet kind of fragrance. Um, something I find with perfumes like this one, fragrances that smell a bit more naturally sweet, is if you smell something really obviously sweet, like um, a very syrupy fragrance, if you smell that first and then smell one of these, they don't smell that sweet. Um, because they're sweet in a more subtle kind of way, if that makes sense. But I absolutely adore this fragrance, you guys. It is so um, sophisticated, it's quite classy to me. It's very elevated. It... <sighs> this fragrance is absolutely incredible. I would say you can still detect the lavender in here, but the vanilla and the woody notes are definitely the most prominent to me. This perfume is just incredible. I would say it shines most in the autumn and winter, but having said that, I have worn it recently as well and we're in the height of summer, so, you know, it's just a stunning fragrance and I would definitely repurchase this one, you guys, without a doubt. Um, it was when I wore it recently and I saw the level of fragrance in here, so I've worn almost half of it now. That's when I really realized um, that it was repurchase worthy because, it is just, it's a standout fragrance. The quality is exceptional. The lasting power is really, really good. The projection is, it's, it's significant and it has a really nice presence, but it's not overwhelming and it's not obnoxious. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's just this elegant, stunning, quietly confident fragrance. If you're a fan of your woody fragrances, aromatic fragrances, natural smelling perfumes, that kind of thing. I think you would really like this. I wouldn't necessarily blind buy it. I would never really recommend blind buying any fragrance because, you know, I never know if, if you're gonna absolutely love it for sure or not. But um, definitely sample it if you can, you guys. It's a really fantastic fragrance. There's almost something slightly reminiscent of, um, like in the dry down, once it's kind of melded with your own skin chemistry and things like that, the sweetness in here, it's almost like, it reminds me of burnt marshmallows or something like that, just in the dry down, like that gorgeous, unique sweetness in here. Honestly, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this perfume. And this one has been in my collection for a very long time. I actually purchased this before I properly started my collection, if that makes sense. It was before I was properly collecting fragrances um, and it was long before I started my channel or anything like that. And it has stood the test of time. And if anything, I would say I've grown to love it more than I did when I first purchased it. So I think that says quite a lot about this one, to be honest. I mean, I will quite often grow tired of a perfume. I will declutter lots of perfumes. So I would absolutely repurchase this perfume. I think it's a gem. So that is Mongolan Intense. The next perfume that I would repurchase is Danger Pour Femme from Rocha Parfums. Now, I would say that this perfume 
and um, this perfume are almost, they have a similar mood, they have a similar level of sweetness. So if you already like the level of sweetness in Mongrelan Intense, then chances are I think you might also enjoy the kind of sweetness that's in here because these are both very subtle, naturally kind of sweet fragrances. They're not synthetic sweet, they're not too fakingly sweet, they're very very subtle, um, they're nuanced, they're sophisticated, they're soft, smooth and um, elevated. They're both absolutely stunning. So Danger Pour Femme has knocked my socks off, you guys. I have to be honest, I completely love this fragrance. Wow, this perfume smells like the business to me. This is a truly beautiful scent. Immediately you can smell the quality. This is a no-nonsense type of fragrance. This is just solidly good, if that makes sense. It's good quality. I mean, from the gorgeous bottle right down to the scent itself, it does not disappoint. I would say if you know that you like fragrances like Chanel Number no. 5, um, I'm pretty confident you would also like this. If you really do not like Chanel Number no. 5, I would be wary of this perfume, but I wouldn't rule it out altogether. I would maybe just um, buy their sample set and give it a try because um, this perfume, it reminds me of Chanel Number no. 5 in some ways, but to me, this perfume right here is smoother. It's more um, focused on that. It's more centered around the kind of woody, vanillic notes the florals, it's not really as harsh, this is much smoother, um, more refined and things like that. So I mean this perfume's better to me, but there are some similarities in the kind of mood and the sort of style of scent. I have received a compliment on this fragrance uh, from my work colleague. I was complimented on this perfume and she said it smelled absolutely incredible and I'm not, I'm not even surprised because this is a truly magnificent scent. It is... Oh, it's quite dry, it's very naturally sweet, it's very smooth. It's almost like suede-like. It reminds me of suede as well. If you imagine a sweet suede kind of scent with um, sandalwood, with vanilla, lots of different florals like Lang Lang I believe is in here, rose. Quite a citrusy opening but to me there are citruses in the top notes, but they don't really stay around um, for very long, to my nose anyway. Um, once it warms up on the skin, the mid notes and the base notes really come through and the top notes kind of dissipate. So it's not really a citrusy scent at all. Like overall, I would describe this as, um, you know, a, a woody scent, a vanilla kind of fragrance and floral as well. This is one of those perfumes that I almost feel like I can't really fully even describe to you how it smells, you just have to smell it for yourself. It it has something magical about it that I can't even put my finger on it. I think because it's so smooth and it's just so seamlessly blended and I think the quality of it as well, sometimes certain fragrances you can't really put into words because they're such an experience and I suppose experiences are supposed to be lived, you know, yourself. So I would recommend purchasing a sample um, you can purchase a sample set from their website and try all of the perfumes from the Essence to Parfum range. I would recommend doing that because um, I don't think this would be everyone's cup of tea. I don't think it would be everyone's cup of tea. Um, it is more mature, I would say. It's more sophisticated, perhaps a touch vintagey. But I mean, to me, this is more modern, but I have heard it described as a vintage fragrance and I can see where they're coming from just because it's kind of reminiscent of Chanel number no. five. Um, but anyway, you guys, this is a fantastic perfume. I completely adore it. Um, I'm so grateful to have been sent it. Rocha Parfums actually very generously sent me this bottle of perfume to review and I'm just, I can't even put into words how grateful I am really because it is such a gem of a perfume. Next up today is the beautiful Armani My Way. Now this perfume is just so bright and happy and uplifting, juicy, voluptuous, creamy and floral. You cannot help but smile when you smell this perfume. It is a truly uplifting scent, you guys. I absolutely love this one. So the main things I can detect is that really bright, sparkling bergamot note. 
Oh, you have your tube rose in here and it's a very bubblegummy, modern, sweet tube rose. It's not green or earthy at all. It's a very modern take on a tube rose note. You have your very prominent orange blossom in here as well. And in the base notes you have a creamy combination of cedarwood and vanilla and overall I completely love this fragrance you guys, I think it's incredible. I wear this one a lot actually, it's very versatile, it would suit any occasion really. And for that reason I reach for it a lot, I have worn quite a lot of this perfume, um, I've put a little bit of a dent in there I would say, and I haven't really had it for that long, but I do absolutely love this perfume. I think the other good thing about this one is it's kind of appropriate for any season I would say. Um, I think spring would be the best season for this perfume but it would be perfect for all year round I would say. It would make a fantastic signature scent as well and I do believe that they offer refills. You can purchase a, a larger refill bottle to decant into your perfume bottle which I really appreciate because I don't like throwing perfume bottles out. I mean I would never actually... I have done that a few times before but on the whole um, I just really don't like throwing out perfume bottles. Mostly I will declutter my perfumes before it actually is finished. But if I ever finish a bottle it always feels kind of... Um, I feel a bit guilty just throwing a perfume bottle in the bin, even if it's empty. I don't know you guys. But with this perfume you can just refill your bottle, which I really appreciate. And I will definitely be doing that. So that is the gorgeous Armani My Way. Next up today is the stunning Alien from Mugler. This perfume has surprised me. It has shocked me even, because when I first tried this perfume, I didn't even like it, you guys. I really didn't think I would ever like this perfume. Um, but then I, I purchased the Eau de Toilette version of Alien and I grew to love that one more and more. And then I moved from the Eau de Toilette to the Eau de Parfum and now I love both. So <laughs> that's my story of um, growing to appreciate Alien. I just think this is up there with just the most fantastic, rich, warm, seductive, alluring, confident, ambery and woody jasmine scent. This is truly fantastic in my opinion. I love this perfume. Um, the only thing I would maybe say about this one is that I wouldn't overspray it and I wouldn't like to be around somebody who had oversprayed it because I can imagine this perfume um, being a bit overwhelming or a bit cloying if it was to be oversprayed. But, you know, apart from that, this perfume is absolutely incredible to me. I think it's absolutely stunning. And of course, um, the Mugler bottles you can actually refill as well. So I would just get my bottle refilled for sure. I um, have this little 30ml bottle here. But like I say, you can just refill them. And um, I would absolutely do that once this runs out. So that is the iconic, the beautiful and unique Alien. Next we have the gorgeous Delina Exclusif from Parfum de Marly. Now this is a perfume I've had for quite a long time now. Um, it featured in one of my earliest unboxing first impression videos on my channel like around a year ago I think. Um, I'll leave a link to that video in the description if I can remember. But this was one of the perfumes that changed everything for me, actually. This really changed the way that I see perfume and feel about perfume because it showed me what is possible in the perfume world. I had never tried a perfume like this. I don't think I'll ever find a perfume quite like this. It's just absolutely breathtaking to me in every single way. I mean, this perfume, it almost does everything. So it has some fruity elements, it has floral elements, woody, vanilla, um, sweet, powdery, smooth, silky. It's just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible, this perfume. I love this one. I was actually surprised to love this one so much after I tried the original Delina because the original Delina wasn't really for me. I mean, it's a nice perfume, like I have nothing actually against the perfume, but I just don't understand the hype. I don't understand, um, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't rave about it. Like, does it smell nice? Of course it does, but I don't think that it necessarily deserves the hype, in my opinion. I mean, it might be worth the hype to you, but just in my own personal opinion, 
the original Delina, somehow it kind of fell a little bit flat for me. So I was um, very surprised to discover how much I absolutely love Delina Exclusive. To me, this one is really different from the original. Um, to me, they are like two completely different perfumes, actually. They're really, really different to me. And I absolutely adore the Exclusive version. This one is the kind of richer, uh, woodier version. It's it's powdery, this one here, whereas the original Delina isn't really powdery at all. Um, this one it's just more complex, it's more refined, it's addictive, it's stunning, it's beautiful, you guys. I completely love it. Lasting power on this is phenomenal. This one lasts a very long time and it projects also, so therefore it's um, likely going to garner some compliments. I have had a compliment on this perfume before because it just has that projecting power, so people are gonna smell it on you. It's just a fantastic perfume, you guys. So that is Parfum de Marly Delina Exclusive. And last up today, I want to talk about my beautiful black opium from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, I'll just briefly cover this one because I do talk about it a lot and I've, I've talked about it a lot on my channel, but I completely love this one, you guys. It is a gorgeous kind of uh, creamy coffee sweet vanilla slightly fruity floral perfume <sighs> this perfume is really really good i wouldn't say that it's in the same league as some of the other ones we've talked about today i have to be honest i wouldn't say that it's in the same league as delina exclusive I wouldn't really say that it's in the same league as your uh, Mongrelan Intense and I definitely wouldn't say that it's in the same league as Danger Pour Femme. So Danger and uh, Delina Exclusive, they're kind of on another level, like they're in a league of their own because they're just um, completely exceptional perfumes. Um, this one is still a love for me, I love this perfume, but it's just it's not in the same league as those. However, with that being said, I completely love this fragrance. I've had this one for quite a wee while now. Um, I've used quite a lot of it, as you can see, and it has already been a repurchase because I have bought a backup bottle of this perfume. I own two of them. This is the limited edition fragrance um, in the leopard print kind of bottle there. So I, I knew it was going to be a repurchase anyway, you guys, and I thought, oh, why not, you know, purchase the limited edition version of it just for the sheer fun of it, you know, to have a slightly different bottle instead of waiting and then purchasing another one of the same bottle. Um, it was just something a little bit different, so I have repurchased this perfume, um, you know, a backup bottle of it already, so I just thought I'd quickly mention it today. I love this fragrance, but like I say, it's probably, well, it's not in the same league as um, this fragrance, and it's definitely not in the same league as uh, Danger. I think particularly this fragrance here, it's just amazing, like the quality, um, how it's it's softer, it's more nuanced, it's just more elevated, it's leveled up basically. I mean, you know, it's just a fantastic fragrance and I feel like Black Opium, it's not, it's nowhere near the same league, but with that being said, you know, I, I still really enjoy it. I love this fragrance, I already have my wee uh, backup of it here and I think it's just fantastic. It's really addictive as well. It has that really nice kind of Oh, it's that powdery kind of sweetness and I just absolutely adore this fragrance. This is one of those perfumes that you smell and it's really really sweet and then when you go to smell this fragrance it suddenly doesn't smell as sweet anymore. <laughs> but um, I can imagine you know if I was just if I was only wearing the likes of these then they would seem very sweet but then when you smell like a really really sweet fragrance like this they suddenly don't seem that sweet anymore so it's a funny kind of thing how it plays with your senses um like the contrast and smells and how it affects the perception of the other one etc so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching today i really hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments um you know of some perfumes that you would immediately repurchase what are your favorite perfumes ever um, let me know in the comments. I always love hearing from you. And thank you to Lily Silk again for sponsoring today's video. Like, thank you so much, Lily Silk, because obviously this blouse is absolutely breathtaking. I completely love it. Um, I love my pillowcases and my wee hair ties as well. 
which have really come in handy today on this very very warm day so um, don't forget to check out Lily Silk. check out my wee discount code as well to give you some money off of your whole order thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate it and I will see you on the next video take care guys bye